is Jessica. I'm a voiceover student with the Lights Camera Traction Academy. On this episode of the Daytona Turkey Run Car Show, our Lights Camera Traction production team will bring to you all the beautiful sights, while our friends from the Go Get Gone bands will keep the action moving with some of the best rockabilly music you'll hear anywhere. But before we get started, we'd like to give a shout out to Mopar Judy and White Diamond Detail Products. Not only are they the official sponsor of the Daytona Turkey Run, but they also help us keep all our lights, camera, traction race cars looking great. Whether we're on display or on the track, White Diamond Detail Products always help us look like winners. Open call. That's production jargon, meaning anyone can audition. So if you're interested in being part of our next show, be sure to stop by your compound at the Turkey Run. Just look for the red blimp. There's lots of fun and games to test your skills. You can even test her reaction time and the time traveler's dragster. Plus, it's where the turkey run raffle is held. So please stop by and see us. Now sit back and enjoy. Up, up, and away. It's up. Hooray. Up, up, and away. Up, up, and away. But I dream on the blues I don't know if I win But I know I never lose Jesus, as long as I got my picture of you Tribute car number one, the Munster Coach, 454 Chevy, 500 horse. Jack suspension, uh, it's been built for uh, 12 years old. Dragula, 9 years old, small block 400 Chevy, 400 horse. Straight pipes, very fast. I can pull some air on the front tires when I do the drag strip when I get traction. Bicycle here was built by George Harris and Von Dutch. That is a real bicycle. The car is a tribute. This is uh, original and it's also inspired by in Larry from his chain link. Carter Davidson Franks, which was made back in 1965, was actually the first to really cool low bike with low rider bicycle to start the whole bicycle uh, phenomenon. And in between, I've got a go card and I've got some other uh, props. I got uh, a baseball bat that I used to carry on the show, a uh, little baby spot catching out of an egg, things of that nature. 
So do you own these? I do. These are mine. Okay. Where do they live? Where do they live? They live in a 32 foot trailer wherever I live. Uh, right now, I, came, I brought them in from Missouri, and I'm wintering in Florida. Uh, but they were actually built by a guy named Rutherford Posey in Virginia, uh, like I said, 12 years ago in uh, Richmond. years now. We've been a turkey run now for five years. I am a Daytona street rider too and our club runs the event. And uh, um, it's just a great product. I just detailed all of this uh, with our paint polish, with our chrome polish. And uh, it's bike's about 16 years old. Looks like brand new yet and our polish has done a tre uh, tremendous job on it. Uh, she's been riding this for 16 years. We just detailed everything with white diamond. We used our polish uh, for the beef and surface on there, the black pearl. And now we just finished all the chrome on here with the metal she polish. Did, that bike, she, she would have seen it when it came here. I did hit some rain and I had, <laughs> it was filthy. And I didn't think she was going to be able to make it this look so nice. And I, this is the original paint I have on there. And I've had this toy for six, oh, well, actually it'll be 16 years, June the 18th, 2017. And I don't know where I have not been. I've been everywhere. I have 20, actually, actually almost 29,000 miles on it. And I just get on it and people say, when they see me coming out, I'm only four foot five. And this has a 350 Chevy. 405 horsepower so it doesn't matter who you are doesn't matter what size you are is how you're going to use it and if you can do it you just put yourself to say yes i can do it and that's what i did i i got on that 50 well i won't tell you my age but anyway i <laughs> if i would have had it when i was 20 maybe i would have been more dangerous but now i just get on it everybody sees me going i look like five feet tall on it but when I get off of it, people are just like amazed. But her product on this bike made it look like it was brand new. It looked, made it look like a 2001 again. And it looks a lot better. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> White Diamond is the perfect product. Look at it, how shiny it is. And what the only thing that they did for this trike for me, it looks like they did a customized trike. They didn't. This is the original custom. 
and the original Boss Haas, they call it a Boss Haas, and they did. See, because my legs are so short, I put my legs here. A regular person puts his leg here, but I'm just a short legger. And they took the handlebars and brought them in at 30, at 24 inches apart, and they're usually 36 inches apart. And I can't ride that because I have to have <laughs> like two separate. So anyway, I'll show you. Do you want me to start it? This how I get out. guys, gals, young kids, old kids. Welcome back to Turkey Rod Run. We're standing underneath the Ride Tech display and uh, everybody's jamming out here today. Cars everywhere. They stopped by and asked us to explain a little bit about the way the front end of a car works whenever mom and dad's driving you down the road and turn the wheel. This is basically would be connected to the steering wheel inside the car and this is the steering box that makes everything move. So when mom and dad turns the wheel like this, it moves all the linkage that makes all the wheels and tires move from left to right. This one's all painted up a little bit different than what mom and dad's car would be, but it gives you an idea of how the front end of a car works whenever you're riding down the road. Enjoy. Check us out at ridetech.com. Got my hair combed up, got my suit just right. 
Gonna meet my baby, and we're going out tonight, oh baby. What I got is the boy. Got my car waxed up, got the top rolled down, gotta get myself going, ain't got no time to mess around, oh baby, what I got is no for you, I'm in a waiting all day like a dog, now I'm on my way through. My car out front, stand at her door. Been waiting all day, I just can't take it anymore. Oh, baby, what I got in store for you? I've been waiting all day like a dog. Gotta pick out a spot Up on lookout lane The way you look tonight You die this man insane Oh baby What I got is the boy I promise to 
Fate Jewel Twin Coach, 372 Red Diamond International, gas, straight six, five speed. Uh, home is right here in Daytona Beach. It's a serial number one. I've been watching it in cow pasture for 20 years. Because the old man would never sell it to me. But his kids did finally. This stuff came out of the warehouse, 1936. Phone book, this is their front page. Ridgeway. This is them right here. This came out of the warehouse. 1936. Back when you had three digits for a thumbnail. <laughs> or the rickshaw, P King, straight from Peking, 1.5 million miles on it. How's that documented? Uh, just because I said so. <laughs>
just a wrap, but before we go, we wanted to share a new event just for kids. Cops and kids race down pit lane. A big thank you to Daytona's police officers that came out to compete, and Jennifer Labonte for hosting this great event. Well, my baby, baby, baby's always on my mind. She stole the key to my heart, and she didn't waste time. Girl, tell me that you love me, you need to be so damn. When she comes to call me, man, gotta go, cause she's my crazy little baby. And I love her. Well, she's a crazy little kicking with books to kill And the sound of her voice can make my heart stand still Every word from her lips is nothing but sweet And when she gives me a kiss, it knocks me off my feet You know I hate to lose this dream Cause I love her so Cause she's my crazy little baby And I'm a daddy Oh, go! go. enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed this project. All of us at the Lights Camera Traction Academy would like to thank the Daytona Street Rodders for sharing the great event with us. We would also like to thank the Go Get Gone Band, Mopart Judy, and White Diamond Polishing Products for their support. And a special thanks to Gordon Motorsports for their continued support. And remember, we're always looking for anyone interested in cars, trucks, motorcycles, or audio, video production, TV production, the Lights Camera Traction Academy, together with our community partners, are passionate about creating educational programs and supporting schools and enhancing their curriculum. So if you would like to get involved, please visit lightscameratraction.org or give us a call at 800-210-2995. And remember to visit us at the next Daytona Turkey Run. We're always beneath the giant red blimp. Thanks again for watching!